Before we begin, I just want to say... Next week is the last week of Harvest Moon Back to Nature. This is the second to last ever recording of Harvest Moon Back to Nature. And it is amazing. I can't wait. It's going to be really sad. But I was thinking, I never want to play this game forever. That would be really dull and boring and so sad. And it's like, change. It's good. Anyway, weather report news. What's your passion? Life on the farm. Here's to Mother's Weather Forecast. Expect... A comfortable balmy winter day. Day 20 of winter. The lake freezes over when it gets cold. They might provide access to places impossible to reach during the seasons of spring and fall. My, I've got a feeling that there was a blizzard that I needed to work past. No, there isn't. No, I guess there wasn't. I guess it was my imagination. Yeah, because sometimes when I finish a day, I go... I want to finish a recording episode. I go and look at the next day, see if it's a blizzard. Because if it's a blizzard, I've got to reload the last day. So I check to make sure. And I thought I had to this time, but I guess not. Uh, okay, so I guess. Um, yeah, we've had that before. I like we go it's all pointless. Hello, Ellie. How are you doing? Babies are so cute. Do you know what? I actually agree with that. They are quite cute sometimes. Sometimes they can be a little loud. But babies, babies are the future, man. <laughs> goo goo. That is probably the truest thing I've ever said. Babies are the future. They are indeed. Right, ball, and then we'll have a. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, Tommy. Tommy, uh, I think. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Oh dear. I. I don't. Here's the thing, I don't think I can get it out, and I, and I don't think that it will ever despawn because this is the house, and the house, I think it does despawn, despawn in the house. Oh, that's quite funny. Oh, that is rather humorous. That's, that's actually funny. It's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, at least we got spares. There you go, buddy. In the ball. Put that one there now. <laughs> now that we. Now that the ball is there. What happened to it? What? Oh, I was actually. Oh, it's going to be. That was going to be cool. It's going to be like a little feature. That is weird, though, isn't it? What happened there? Anyway, oh, it's gone now. Who cares? Right then. Let's get the bell and we'll do Farmer's Journal. Begin. It is the 20th of winter, year 3, Saturday, 6 o'clock in the morning, if you wanted to know. And the weather outside is... I think it's sunny, I'm not sure. Let's be honest, you can't tell anymore. Unless you remember. Right, but what are we doing today then? Well, today is a three-day episode, so we've got 10 minutes of each day. Oh. Oh. And what are we doing today? Well, according to the list, the Farmer's Journal, the thing I'm looking at right now, is we're going to go and visit the inn. So let's go in the inn, see what's going on. Right, but before we do that, do we need to do anything else? Let's roll the dice just the once, just to see if we need to do anything. The dice has a number three on it. Number three is the sheep. Well, they do need cutting. But nothing has come. Of course it hasn't. But... Do we want to do that? Because we might not need to, because we might have a corn harvest, which we do. So we might not need to do the, the sheep at all then, so we'll leave that. We'll just go to the, uh, what's it called? The inn today later on, and we'll look around there. And that'll pretty much be it. Also, how did he... P right, yeah. I think Horia said there was a way of doing this so I can maximise more profits. I can put some seeds... Here, 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 and here was it? Because I can jump over them to get to the other bits and bobs. And perhaps I can't, no, I can't put one in the middle because I can't get to that one in the middle there. No, I think he did say something about it actually. 
I think it was something along those lines. But yeah, but we'll have a look at that later. Obviously, there's no point. Not, not, not much point now, anyway, because, uh, like I said, next week, last week, it's going to be crazy. Right, so it's 67. So if it's 10 each, that's 77, 87, 97. That should be over. So that's 999. So can we put more in? We cannot. Cool, we'll just sell the rest then. Look at that. Max chicken feed in a short amount of time. Because let's face it, we did pretty much get all of that ourselves. Through our amazing corn harvests. Yes, I do like my corn harvests. In fact, where's my basket? I never picked it up. Was it in the shop? In the shop, was it? In the shop, in the house. Was it or was it? I don't remember seeing it. I think we should probably go find that, actually, because otherwise it's going to cause me some trouble later on. I use it in the... Where did I use it? <sighs> Is it in here, perhaps? Did I leave it in here? I don't remember leaving it in here. Oh, I did! Oh! Well, Mr. Basket, I don't remember leaving you with the cows. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Well, it looks like I did. Well, at least we know where it's gone. Okay, so we will cut away uh, in a second or so when, we, when I've watered these crops and sold the corn. And then obviously we'll jump to the inn later on and probably leave it there actually now I think about it because uh, just from the time, we're getting, we're getting quite a bit done. Well, actually no, we're not getting quite a bit done. We're doing not a lot. But we're doing a lot of what we're supposed to be keeping in in a short amount of time, if that makes sense. It did in my head. I'm just wasting water there. There's a water shortage. I like to think my farm is organic and the, uh, the water that I'm using to water them is is uh, either from the river or, it, or it's rainwater. Because you think maybe there's like a pipe that comes from the gutter and that's how we fill it up. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. Maybe I am. But you, do you know what? I am. I. I think that's true. I think that's how the case. I think that's the case. All of these little troughs and stuff. They're full of rainwater. Right. Come on, chickens. Tidy your beds. I'm coming in to expect your bunks. Now it's time to look at the inn, the drunken bad pipe bagpipe, as we have called it. Doug's place, as it is called in the game. So yeah, this is the inn. It is like an old-fashioned inn, like from Skyrim. There's a hedge. Outside picnic tables, never seen anyone use them. A balcony as well, with no door apparently, so I don't know how people get up there, but that's quite a cool little feature. And we've got the sign here. What does the sign, sign say? What do you say, sign? Sign! Read to me! Seriously? Is this, is this seriously? I don't understand. There we go. Doug's place. Bar open. Eight till nine. It is open right now. And it's a basket. A basket? There's a thing over there as well. Who is that? That's not who I thought it was. Uh, and that's a barrel over there as well. Right then. In we go. Let's have a little look at this inn. The drunken bagpipe. Let's have a little look around then. So, got lovely little tables there. With a little bit of blanket and stuff on it. There's people that just came in. A lovely little desk here with a little cashier and a guy a phone as well we have a phone we use that to order my uh, TV shopping things if you remember we've got a series of bottles and vials and we've got a cabinet and Cliff is a really nice guy he said he's going to stay forever mm-hmm I got a lovely little what's it called um, unit a little unit I quite like it with the little little boxes there that must be a post office bit ah oh, because they get delivered here don't they no, they don't. There's a postman. Is there? Is there? Is there a postman? I can't remember if it's a postman. There's not. Maybe Officer Harris is the postman. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, this is Doug. He owns the drunken bagpipe. Oh, why did you come down here for? Yeah, this is this is Doug. He runs Doug's place. He is Scottish. Now that Anne is happy, I think my wife in heaven is also happy. Indeed. And this is the Anne we were talking about. Anne. Hello, Anne. Welcome, JD. I don't know what to do. Cliff and my dad have become so friendly and I'm exhaled from the ground. Oh, excluded from the group. Sorry. <laughs> A wire was in the way. I couldn't quite see what was going on. Oh, what's he say? Doug's, <laughs> Doug's place. Check in. One o'clock. Check out. Two o'clock. That's twelve o'clock, sorry. Right, we've spoken to these two before. We've got Duke. 
Nay, hey, I'm going to the church with gift today. I've never been, but I guess everything here is a first for everything. And his manor here as well. Hello, JD. We decided to take meals together, so at the end, I'm Saturday with the cliff. We eat and then go to the church. Haha, <laughs> it's like a really family, eh? Cool, who's this guy? Hey, how's the farm doing? Don't let anyone get in your way. Yeah, this is Cliff. I've been eating all my meals at the inn lately. It's like my mom's cooking it, so I never get tired of it. Yes, uh, I don't know. They're eating meals with them, but I don't know why he's sitting there on his own. But yeah, she, he's, he is married to this little lady here, Anne. I think he also lives here. And this little fellow... This little fellow, if I can look at these things here. I can't look at those things okay, there, can I? No, I can't, yeah. This fe little fellow here is one. Oh, we have a fish one. Oh, thank you, I like this. Yeah, this guy here came to our farm once. Welcome, welcome, have you come to buy something? Here, we have all the seeds you cannot find at the supermarket. Yes, this guy sells seeds. Yep, that's what he does. Right, goodbye, sir. I'm always here, so come back and do your bit of time. Cool, right, let's go upstairs. It's a big old place, this. It's taking longer than I thought it is. Good little Nora, you're always here at the inn, aren't you? He's a little cat. Alright, what else we got? Nothing down here. Just looking over the balcony and stuff. And we've got two little bedrooms. What is this one? It's got this one with three beds. A flower pot. There's some chairs. Aha! More chairs. And some more the beds and stuff like that as well. Cool. Right, so that's upstairs. Not much to it, really. Now, if we go downstairs, we can go into this room over here, which is the kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen, indeed. Yeah, look at this. We've got a microwave oven. See, why have they got a proper one? They've even got a proper stove and everything. What? I don't understand. Why have they got better equipment? They've even got a bigger fridge. I don't understand. Oh, look at all this stuff. Look, it's got a kettle. Why can't we have this stuff? This stuff's cool. cool. They've got like, a little unit area as well and everything. Oh, so great. I want that stuff. Cool, right, what's in here then? Oh. It is locked. It's like, a, it's like it's a door. Is that Narnia behind there? It's probably Narnia behind there, let's be honest. It's Narnia, in it? Cool, that must be Anne's room. So this must be Doug's room. Looks like there's a safe there or something, or some safes in here. Oh, he's got nothing to look at. That's unfortunate. Right, well, that's the inn. And now it's time to go to bed. It's time to go to bed, pup. Because we've done everything. I want a cup of tea as well. Ah. It's alright. I've had a better cup of tea before. Yeah, right, good. So we've gone well over time. 30 minutes on one day. That's more like a fifth that's more like a two day episode. But tomorrow will be a short day anyway, because we're not doing anything, so maybe that will be okay in the end. Sort of, it will sort of cancel itself out, so to speak. Right, down we go. I don't know if I'm coming down with a cold, but so I, feel, I feel a bit nasally and a sore throat. So maybe. Obviously, it won't really matter because we're playing Harvest Moon that's nearly finished! Woo! In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to order what I need for my next let's play so I need to buy this next let's play I've I've got the game but at one point they have released re-released a HD version of it so that might narrow it down a little bit what it might be uh, um, good night Jellybee uh, goo -goo. yeah they have narrowed it down a little they've released a HD version taking a break yes it's important not to get overworked I'm going to bed um, so I'm going to get that one instead so I need to order that. So I've got the game. I have played the game. I've completed the game before as well, which is a quite an unusual, <laughs> unusual thing for me. But uh, yeah, so I might. I'm going to order it in as well. But I won't do it now. I'll look for it now while I'm waiting to just go into the next day. But still, uh, carry on. Let's just go. Right. So today, oh, well, hold on. Make Dari into it and then sleep. Dear Dari, today we went into the inn. Tomorrow, we'll do something else. From Farmer JD. Tea break. Ah, right. Let's go see that. What's on that TV then? Hello, farming TV. What's going on? The show gear. Ugh. Here's tomorrow's weather forecast. There'll be snow, 
bundle up so you don't catch a cold. Thank you, wise weather lady. Day 21 of winter, the flake freezes over when it gets cold. That might provide some access to my well, armor reading that. I've read it before. Five on a farm. Nope. The Shogi Hour. Today we continue with the gameplay between a 100 dang rank player, the first player, and a 101 dang rank player, the second player. First, 1 4 poor. Second, 1 6 poor. First, 2 4 poor. Second, 2 freaks poor. First, 3 5 poor. Second, 3 6 poor. First, 4 4 poor. Second, 4 6 poor. First, 5 4 poor. We'll end it today and continue the game next time. I'm just actually thinking. And this is. Is this some. Is this. Right, so the last day is a Wednesday. Is that right? So when we're on the. Right, so when we get on to the 24th, we're going to start seeing... No, oh no, because you get the New Year special stuff as well. I think we've seen some of the last of these TV shows. We might not be seeing any of these again. That's really sad. I hope we get tomorrow's Fair and Me. I like I like Fair and Me. Fair and Me is the best. It's my favourite. Because I'm a sucker for a love story. Hello, Ellie. Babies are so cute. Yes, they are. Go go! Hello, buddy. How's it going? He's doing good. He's doing. He's doing good. He sends his. He sends his love. Right. Cool. Right then. Right then. Right then. Uh, Stu sometimes comes in to see the baby, just a peek, and then he's off again. Boy, go get. Bring me the ball, Tommy, and we can go and see the rip tide. That was terrible. I was trying to sing to that song called Riptide, and it just didn't work. Just didn't work. Oh well. What am I what left to do? Uh, Farmer's Journal. <coughs> I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> I told you. Anyway, Farmer's Journal. Begin! It is the 21st of the winter. Year 3, Sunday, 6 o'clock in the morning. If you wanted to know, and the weather outside is delightful. So what we're we doing today then? Well, according to the Farmer's Journal, my physical list, we are not doing anything today, so we shall leave it. We shall leave the Farmer's Journal where it is, and we shall carry on with our lives, and we shall go outside of the uh, house. Wait for chickens. Right, good, so we'll look at this. Nothing has come, of course it hasn't. I need my basket, which is just here. And then we're going to go in the greenhouse. Right, so get ready. I'm coming in. I just realised no one in here for me to talk to. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm coming in, but there's no one in here to tell I'm, I'm going in there. Right, okay, so what we're doing today, well... I might not actually do anything. Like, like, um... We haven't got long left. To get to like 20 minutes because I want to try and keep 10 minutes to a day. I know it went over first, went over yesterday, so I might just get to 20 today and then just call it a day. So I might just go and take care of the chickens because that's quite a quickie thing, a quick thing to do. And I'd like to see the chickens, so I might do that. So let's go do that, shall we? Plus, I'm also thinking um, we're going to have to start saying goodbye to the animals. Obviously, they'll live forever in this reality, but Farmer JD will come out of the waiting room. He'll take back his proper form of who he is, and I will, I will go on to another adventure. Because I'm not Farmer JD. That's I'm, I'm I'm JD, but I'm not Farmer JD. Farmer JD is a different person. We're just sort of here at the moment. We're sort of taking control of his body. You know, if you've ever seen Quantum Leap, think of that. You know, and I'm about I'm about to start singing the song. I apologise in advance. If you haven't seen Quantum Leap, you have to see Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap is one of the best sci-fi esque. Is it sci-fi? It is a sci-fi, isn't it? It is sci-fi. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it is. It's great. It's fantastic. It's quite funny as well because there's a character in it who's a hologram. Who I suppose is pretty much, pretty much Tommy is based on that ideology, ideology, uh, and animals can see him. So if that is the case, then basically me being here with the animals is just great because uh, they can see me, who I really am, and they can't see the farmer JD that everyone else sees. He, they see the real JD. Everyone else sees the farmer JD. 
Yep. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Right, I got, my, nose is, my nose is running. So I'll get a tissue. And this is why I think I'm coming down with a cold, actually. And there's more evidence. <laughs> Curse the evidence. Here's what I say to evidence. Anyway, yeah, we'll do this. I'm going to feed these chickens. It's 20 minutes, so we'll end it. So what I'll do is I'll go and do the rest of my chores. And then tomorrow we'll come here. Actually, no. We'll come here at the end of today. And then we'll go back tomorrow. But right then, chickens. See you later. We'll see you next week for the final goodbyes. I know. Some of you have obviously come back. I think probably all of you will come back to the channel lands. But the rest of you, staying here. Bye, chickens. Back on the farm. I'm just to rearrange. Oh, I need to start my stop watch. Uh, one second. Stopwatch activated. Good. Let's go back in the farm then, else. In we go. I'm coming in, Ellie. Don't. A few sick minded individuals out there. Don't. 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 Just don't. Right. Good night, Jellybean. Cuckoo. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> I don't know why I said that twice. I'm becoming Jellybean. Taking a break? Yes, it's important not to overwork. Of course it is. Of course it is. In we go then. Right, so. Mm, are we done? I think we are. Yes, good. Right, make diary entry and then sleep. Dear diary, today we did taking care of the chickens. And that was it from Farmer JD. Hmm, welcome to another day. I don't know what that was, but it was something. But you know what day it is today? The day is Monday, which means the fairy of me. Go. Cool. I like the fairy of me. Right, let's begin the TV time, shall we? Here's tomorrow's weather forecast. There will be snow. Bundle up so you don't catch a cold. Indeed. Day 22, winter, the lake freezes over. And I'm not reading that again. Life on a farm, not reading that again either. But now it is time for... The Fairy and Me. History. Chapter 9. The girl standing beside the box. I did not know her name at the time, but I thought she might be a student at my school. Said, Poor puppy, you must be very cold. She held the puppy, brushed the snow off its head and wrapped it in her scarf. Then she took it home. At that time, I just watched her while holding a tree in the park. Excuse me, did you forget to bring an umbrella? Gasp! To be continued. But what happens next? I didn't do it. Oh no. I was going to do it and I forgot. I was going to do like, you know when I did it a while ago, I liked it and I wanted to do it again and I forgot. And I sort of was like, but what happens next time? Oh! But I forgot to do it. Damn it. Right, uh, talk to Ellie. I was wondering what I'll do him. Babies are so cute. They are. Let me look at him. He's a little mouse man, isn't he? Mouse man. Goo goo. Stay jelly jelly bee. Little j j little Tommy. Let's go in here. Alright, there's the ball then. So I'm, sorry. I'm thinking about the end, about what we're going to do at the end. I'm excited. Super excited. Like, what can we do? Like, can we go to everybody and say goodbye to everybody individually? Should we do that on the second? I don't know what happens on the first. I think maybe we should base it on that first. Maybe on the on the thirtieth, I should go say goodbye to everyone. I'm not sure. What do we do? I'm so excited. I'm done. Oh, is this? I'm brief. Farmer's journal. Begin. It is the twenty-second of winter, year three, Monday, six o'clock in the morning. If you wanted to know, and the weather outside is snowy because it's winter. What we're we doing today? We are doing something today. We are going to. We go to visit the beach. Each, let's go get a wave. What they're gonna say? Cool, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Visit the beach. Uh, probably go there now, actually, so we can be there for Zach and uh, Greg, so we can actually see them when they're at the beach. Uh, sh shall we go? I think we shall go. Seagull. Uh, yeah, let's go then. Set. Wait for the chickens to say hello. Hello, chickens. Good few chickens. Right, let's go then. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, so if we go this way. It is snowing, so that's good. It's nice to see that the weather forecast was correct. Ah. And then we'll go down this way. And we'll go take a right. Let's go down here. Cool, so this little place here, this is Mineral Beach. This because we are we are a port a beach town I guess seaside town. It's very cool. We've got some things there which we'll go look at in a second. But I need to go and catch the people coming out of their houses. 
Oh, Greg's not actually here today, is he? But he is. This is Zach. Hey, how's the farm going? Working hard. I'll come round about five o'clock, so every way for ship, but yeah. That's Zach. He is the shipper. He is the buyer. He is the postman. I remember now. I remember. Yes, uh, of course, Greg is also lives at that house, but he doesn't come out in, until the weekends, so that's a shame. But yeah, so I don't know. This always changes the beach. In summer, it's uh, got deck chairs. Spring, I think it's got closed umbrellas. I forget about the rest of the times. But yeah, look at that. I think those are the folded deck chairs, perhaps. Maybe, I'm not sure. Yeah. This place all reminds me of a hard home from Game of Thrones. It's like, I'm like the Night's King. I'm like, raising my hands like, come at me, crow. It's cool. It's great. And this is a bench. Is that a bench? This here is a seaside shack. This belongs to Kai's seaside lodge. Open only in summer. Yes, but he's not here. We're never going to see him again, unfortunately. But uh, him and Popery are living a happy life. Cool. Right, and this here... Uh, there is some small writing near the door. Zach's house. Do not enter without permission. And we never get to go in there, which is a shame. And we've got a little ship here, which I think is quite cool. I would love to have a ship. I would call it the Milky Brew. And it'll be my baby. But this, unfortunately, is not mine. But if we could ride it, I would I would call it my own ship, but I cannot. And there's a the sea down there. We've, we know there's a stone over there as well that we usually swim to in the in the summer opening day festival. But yeah, so many fond memories here. Right then, let's go back to the farm now. Back to uh, what place was it? The greenhouse. We'll take care of the greenhouse crops. And then we'll go off and do our own little thing. Uh, and then we'll come back for the end. Uh, I'm not sure who's this. Hello, Officer Harris. Hey, thanks, JD. Reading those letters from Ajay makes me feel so much more alive. Look out, world. I'm ready for another day. Go catch those criminals. Those dastardly fiends. They are truly dastardly. Da dastardly. Cool. Right. There we go. Nearly there. Oh, speaking of which, I was talking about getting my next game for my Let's Play, didn't I? I did. Right, well, I've double -look checked everything so I wanted to make sure it's definitely. Because whenever I buy something, I always like double check it, triple check it. You know, I'm one of those people. I don't move an inch unless I've planned the whole step. I don't move an inch unless I've planned the whole journey. That's it. That's that's the same. Yeah, so I've just double-checked to make sure it's definitely the one I want. It's definitely the same as the original one that I had. And it is. The only differences are some uh, few minor changes in terms of visual aspects. So let's order it, shall we, then? So it's for that console. That is correct. It is £12.88. I have that in my bank account. Uh, so let's add to basket. Bit of running commentary here. <laughs> Let's shop. Cool, it's been added to my basket. Great, I can see the other sequels as well. Mm-hmm. More hints about what it's going to be. Alright. Okay, so let's put them in there. Right, so proceed to check out. There's nothing else I want to buy, is there? No. I'm trying not to buy anything really at the moment because uh my money went down for some reason. Why did it go down? I think I went a bit too much spending. I spent too much money. Uh, because I thought I had a lot. Well, I did, but, you know. Oh, well. Uh, yes. So I'm trying not to spend. I'm trying to wait, let my money uh, grow up in its savings. Because I saved up, like, a few a few pounds. And then I went down below that number. So now I'm just waiting until it goes back above that number before I can start spending on anything. Which is going to take a while. But uh, this, is, this is important. This is, this, is a, this is for you guys and girls. So it's a worthy purchase. Right, then... Well, I need to log on to the uh, my Amazon account, so I'll do that off camera. But what is the time now? How are we getting on with our? Oh, it's twenty nine. Oh, all right. Well, I'll purchase it when I get back for tonight then, because uh, we've done everything now. Then, so in we go into the chicken fed shed. I'll say the chickens said hi. And I'll, I'll tell them, I'll tell them you said hi. Right, chickens. The community says hi. Okay, so here goes, and we're ready to go. Shipping. Was one ninety nine, so it's a total order of fourteen eighty seven. I can afford that. I'm fine with that. So let's go with it. Buy now. Next, let's play is on its way, literally and physically. <laughs> it's great. 
It's definitely it's been placed. Uh, yeah, that's right. Cool. Taking a break? Yes, it's important not to overwork. I'm going to bed. That's the break I'm taking. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, good night. Good night, Jelly Beast. Stay jelly. Right then. So, dear diary. Oh, hold on. Make diary entry and then sleep. Dear diary, today we visited the beach and I ordered the next Let's Play from Farmer JD.